Hello guys, in this plasticity video I'm going to show you how you can get rid of certain lines by deleting them in the correct order. And real quick guys, if you want to learn this awesome new program called Plasticity, I've got a course for you in the description, it's the first link there. And it's got a lot of awesome content, it's got over 42 hours of educational content. It's got a tree cutting mix, it's got a police robots, uh, Omega, uh, SMGs, Cyborg Ninjas and much more. So be sure to check that out. So a lot of times when you're modeling guys, you sometimes end up imprinting lines on the object. And so once you've imprinted lines, you can then use it to do further operations such as extrude. However, you can also simply delete those lines pressing X and they will get off the mesh. Sometimes you need to select all of them at the same time. So select all of them right here and just press X and delete them like so. All right, in this situation, you can see I've got some lines here that don't really do anything for the mesh, they're just kind of there. Now, currently I can use them to do operations, but they can also get in the way, so we can just delete them. So I can select them right here and just press X to delete them. And so I can go around here and just press X to delete those lines. Sometimes when you delete the wrong one in the wrong order, you get strange things happening. So the trick, guys, is to delete them in the correct order. You can see when I delete this one right here, uh, this whole detail is removed. So that's not the correct order. So let's just keep going here, piece by piece. You can see that's the wrong one. All right, let's try this one. Oh, let's show all them at once. And there you go. As you can see, guys, we have now deleted those lines in the correct order. We can delete also, let's say, this one here. Oh, actually, this one may have a slight curve to it. But we can we can select, for example, this face and press X to delete that. Same for right here. We're going to try the edge or we can try the face. There we go. So now we can do things like selecting the edges. And we can now safely fill up them all. Oh, let's see, I have some control right here because I got one extra one. Let's uh, deselect that. And now we can uh, fill up them all like so. Oops. Got an extra one right there. And let's deselect that one. All right, there we go. So just like that, guys, I can clean up these kinds of results in plasticity. Thank you for watching and take care.